Wes, and Nate McIntyre. He's National Sales Guy for Emilio Cigars. House of Emilio. House of Emilio. That works too. Yes. <laughs> so uh, Nate's gonna, what he's gonna do is he's gonna show us around with what Emilio's got going on. And uh, so Nate's take it with him. House of Emilio is really kind of unique. It's really cool. Uh, what we wanted to do was bring together really great people and make great cigars. Uh, they make their own stuff. They brand their own stuff. We have uh, processes that make it easy. And I guess what we want to do is just kind of introduce everyone through. All right, well, let's, let's take a walk. Right. This is Enrique Sanchez, 1502 cigars. Lovely Nicaragua. Very, very great. Uh, very nice cigars. Very nice cigars from this week. The Emerald, the Ruby, and the Black Gold have all done very well for us. 91, 92, and 93 rated by Cigar Journal. Great guy, great cigars, with a lot of variety in the in the uh, in the production and in the blend. Uh, like I said, they've done really, really well for us. We're really proud that Enrique is a part. What I'll do, whoever's here behind the booth, I'll be glad to introduce them as well. But one of this is Epicurean Cigars, another part of House of Amelia. Epicurean is the uh, result of Stephen uh, Citron's uh, thinking. Great cigars out of Nicaragua as well. Esteli, Esteli, the AG. Gonzo, dude, Gonzo, killer Pennsylvania. It's a, it's a, it's a killer Pennsylvania. AG Azul. Steve's stuff is the newest addition to the House of Emilio. We're really proud. He's got over 20 years in the business. Uh, great lineage, great history with the business, and knows what he's doing once again. Great people, great scars. It's a common thing. You know? This is Nomad Cigars. Fred Rubin is the creator of Nomad. Nomad is one of our Dominican offerings. There are two blends now, about to be three. In Nomad, the original DR stick came in six really cool sizes: Ecuador Habano wrapper, Dominican filler with a touch of Nicaraguan, a nice medium. It's a fugitive. Body. Yeah, the fugitive two. Okay, the fugitive, fugitive two. two is a six by fifty-one yeah, yeah, perfecto yeah, that has killed. It is a great cigar, and also one of the cooler packaging schemes yeah. I've seen. The Nomad lot, uh, 1386 Esteli limited edition. Uh, first, it was one of Fred's first attempts at blending out of Nicaragua when he killed it. If you tried the Nomad Dominican, the Nomad Nicaraguan line is totally different, but really, really good as well. And also coming up is the S307, which he's making with AJ Fernandez. Another Nicaraguan cigar. That's going to be coming in the fall. This is George Rodriguez with Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Another one of our Dominican wines. The Habano Classico, the La Fortaleza, and the Boutique Blend. Once again, a, a wonderful, flavorful, creamy, full flavored, medium body a Dominican. This cigar will blow your mind. Full bodied, spicy, rich, dark, chocolatey, just killer full bodied cigar. That's the La Fortaleza. And the boutique blend is the large green gauge answer, nice medium body, real spicy and sweet. Killer, killer offerings once again. The common theme, great people, great cigars. It's just what we're doing. Down here, Noel Roas with Guayacan cigars. Now, a lot of people out there heard about Guayacan this year in the Habano line. The Habano was the first. At the show, we're introducing the 6x60. So for you large ring gauge smokers, I mean, this is sexy. I know. It's I know. the party stick. Look at the shine on this wrapper. It's crazy. Habano on all Criollo 98 binders and fillers. Really well done so far. And we just debuted for the show, and it'll be shipping in about a month or so. Guayacan Maduro. Wow. Yeah. Once again, sexy beast, right? Pennsylvania Broadleaf Maduro. Nicaraguan fillers with a touch of Brazilian Matafina. It's really sweet. Nice spice. Tasty cigar. It's as boutique as it gets. All right. This is a Pennsylvania Broadleaf. Okay, that's right. Correct? Pennsylvania Broadleaf. Wyacon has done really, really well. It's a boutique nerd cigar. So if, if you love just sitting back and letting your eyes roll back and enjoy a good cigar, common theme. Good people, good cigar. We'll take you down here to some guys you probably heard about as well. And Zion. They have a number of lines that have come out for the show. It started with Jean Mavu. Then there's also the Reagan. Nice medium body. They use really old tobacco. Here it is for Zion. They've also introduced now. That did, did I get photobombed? You got photobombed. Yeah. How, how did we allow a 12 year old in the show? <laughs> a bearded 12 year old. Yeah, I got photobombed. It started early. The Eminence is a new release from Ezra Zion. A killer. Maduro San Andres. Really, really nice cigar. Full body, dark, rich, and spicy. And also, you've heard of. Tantrum. One size, it's all you need. Full body. Cute little, can't say it's a firecracker. Fire firecracker. Fire 
full body fatigue. The can't, oh, what is it? Prince out of the game. It's just like I said, Ezra's eye candy. Can you speak in English? Oh, it's a box press Prinsado Pequeno 4x4. Amazing. Amazing. Which amazingly is still a 45 minute smoke. Yeah, it smokes very, very small for a, for a uh, tip and run. Really, really nice. And I'll take you over here and I'll show you Emilio's cigars as well. And by the way, what we wanted to do in our booth was make it just relaxing and chill. It's part of our, our culture. We're just relaxed. We love cigars. Started, this is Gary Griffith. Started with the H series, AF1, AF2, the AF Suave, our full bodied Connecticut. The La Musa series, this is the former Grimalkin, same blend, new packaging. This is called Musa. And then the final blend, or the second, it's not final blend, the second blend is called Milete, named after the first three Greek muses in some of Plutarch's writings. Really, really, nice. uh, really, really well done. We're nerds, it's all right. <laughs> and finally, another line that we just released not too long ago is the first of our Los Regalos line called Quetzal. It's our first use of any Dominican. These are all from Esteli, but our first use of any Dominican uh, Habano wrapper, Dominican and Nicaraguan binders, Dominican and Nicaraguan filters. Straight medium body. You can read about a lot of these cigars in the brand new IPCPR edition of Cigar Press. There are reviews of those and a lot of reviews of Ezra Zion. There are five cigars from House of Emilio in the new Cigar Press. And the big idea behind Emilio was to, our House of Emilio, was to provide retailers with easy access to great cigars, never sacrifice consistency and quality. Never want to do any of that. But just make it easy. People can come in and pick what they want and hand it to a customer and those are nice. It's really, really fun. Dude, I want to thank you for coming on the show. I really Absolutely. appreciate you guys. Dude, we social media and fixed tail. It's fantastic. <laughs> we appreciate that. You guys go straight to the people that we care about. We thank you. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Cigardews.com, IPCPR 2013, House of Emilio. Thanks for watching, guys. Smoke more cigars.